provide it. Thanks to our wonderful secretary here at the Merlot Garage. We now have a September 13th schedule for the passengers. Do you have any new schedules? And since they're not in the pouch, and then nobody knows where they are, but I have them. Wow. And thanks to our secretary, everybody has them. Yes, yes. See how easy that was to make a new schedule and get it to the people? So we got one of these special notices in here. Short term. Let's see what it is. I can't get it out of my hold it. Okay. Oh, this is a weekend closure. What's this have to do with me? What? Short term reroute notice? This has nothing to do with a 67 seven bus. What's, what's this doing in my pouch? About the iPhone 5 quarter. <laughs> there he is. Hey Rick, how you doing? Huh? I can't hear you. Too much noise. We had an interesting conversation with, I guess he's a rail supervisor now. I never can tell what, what people are anymore here. People I used to know as drivers, they get promoted, you know, one minute they're a station agent, the next minute they're a bus supervisor, the next minute they're a rail supervisor, and now I guess I'm not sure if they have one supervisor of everything or what, but one of the people with white shirts that has something to do with fare inspection was demonstrating the fake tickets that we have uh, already posted but removed due to we don't want the forgers to know what we know anyway he was saying that when we bus drivers encounter one of these fake tickets we should take it from them tell them it's no good and not give them a transfer to which I responded of course well wait a minute how are we supposed to do that because I just put it in the box and then it goes in there's no no way we can check those and he goes well just put your hand over the box and then look at the ticket and I went you got to be kidding me man you, yeah. that's that's basically a act of aggression to actually stop somebody from putting the ticket in at in the at the chance that maybe it would be a forgery and I said no 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 that's not did you ever hear the saying we're fair informers not fair enforcers does that ring any bells he said, well, yeah, well, but if it's a, if you see the fake, especially these pink day tickets, then you need, to, you should take it and then not give them a transfer. And well, I don't know, I've never heard any uh, management, upper management, advising that course of action, and I certainly wouldn't do it. And I told them, no, there's no way I'm going to do that. Uh, you're wearing a white shirt, you get paid to do that. I'm wearing a blue shirt, see, blue, whoops, uh, <laughs> blue shirt. And uh, blue shirts are paid to drive that vehicle safely and make customers as happy with our service as possible. Not to make issues about things like fake tickets. That's not our problem. That's a police problem. That's a fair inspection problem. We're sorry that it's so easy to fake tickets here. But this is a TriMet problem because they have such a ridiculously cumbersome ticket system anyway that they set themselves up for now there must be a, a huge amounts of fraud here imagine the stickers and probably probably three quarters of the fares that are coming in here aren't even legitimate for all i know i mean it's hot i don't know how that happened but yeah. bob bishop in the flesh there he is folks <laughs> he doesn't even have camera phobia bob bishop the Paul Laurie, hey is it true you're gonna <laughs> go ahead uh huh? right at the ladies room and take some pictures <laughs> I mean, take a uh, picture of you. I, there's plenty of pictures of me. 
<laughs> Smile. Smile. So please. is it true that you're going to be retiring? Are you retiring? Well, Some, eventually we all. I would like not not anytime soon. Not in 2009. Oh, okay. The rumors are unfounded. Bob Bishop is not retiring. I'm not are you still the working? Final. Uh, Look at that. Man. Twelve months. Are you His still final working twelve months. At the Rose Bowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He has. Um, he likes that job. He gets to see the like games and stuff. Yeah. That's right. So He's a there? sports guy. The thing is, they get no retirement package. Nothing else. <laughs> that's that's right. So they're not. They're not of any oh, sort. Nice uh, she's got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom too. Well, yeah, that's right there. What's up with this? What What's up with this rudeness of Bob Bishop today? <laughs> Friday is the work day. I do the three. That, I know you mentioned that. Did and you stay on that next sign up too? And oh, you got off of it. Again. I got off. I'm on the sick too. So I'm here. What is this? At this time, if I'm scheduled, if I'm running a little no, bit hot. No, I think it's so. So you're a little bit hot. So you must be early. I know. I run on time. Oh uh, well, then then you not coming into the shack then. What Otherwise, you, you'd see me every Friday. Actually, I might be in two or three minutes. What are we doing? Earlier here? than these. I'm not uh, sure what she's trimming. Well, What's she up to? Trimming your tail. Yeah, you trimming my tail. Yeah, this tail that's hanging down. See how? What the hell? You whip that jacket on anyway? Isn't you sweating in that? This no, thing is much really. lighter than this. This yeah. is a little piece yeah, of yeah, plastic. That does not that. Put the holes all the heat and the moisture. This breathes. This is cold. What's he talking about? Holds the heat. What's he talking about? about? It's 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 some whacked out trimet bus even, driver. And that's like old news. <laughs> that You're not even supposed to be wearing that. <laughs> Give me that camera. <laughs> Tyler's back from Louisiana. Here again, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother me.